Armchair Techie here with Get Real About Products, and this is my second video about the ViewSonic Mini Projector. I wanted this because it could hook up to a phone or a laptop or a tablet and display, and that would be wonderful for work. But it was giving me a lot of grief. It has not been easy to set up, but I think I finally got command of it here recently. So let's take a look. I'll try to shoot this decently from my armchair, but uh, some of the things are gonna take two hands and I don't know how that's gonna look, but let's just give it a try. First of all, here's my mini projector. It is plugged into the DC power right now. That's the outlet in your home. Um, it only has about a two and a half hour battery life. And when I was using it before, it kept saying, you know, it kept, uh, putting up a screen that says it needed to be plugged in, which I have no doubt is true because it has certainly taken me more than two and a half hours of fiddling with it to finally get it to work correctly. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, press the remote to turn it on and with any luck we'll get a nice home screen that you may remember kept flashing last time. The home screen has come to behave normally now, and it goes directly to this. To plug it into my iPhone, I knew that I would have to get this adapter, this white doohickey here, that has an HDML outlet on it and an iPhone outlet on it. And that I just ordered on Amazon along with the ViewSonic. It looks like this. The Lightning Digital AV Adapter. I'm just kind of following the diagram here. And the diagram that came with the uh, projector, I managed to figure it out. But like I said, it wasn't easy, so let's go over this. You don't need to know how wonderful this little thing is. Of course it's wonderful. You wouldn't have ordered it if it weren't. Um, the thing, the question is, how the heck do I set this up? Okay, so I'm going to attach my adapter into my iPhone. It's an iPhone 8 Plus, so I'm just going to put it in right at the bottom where I normally plug things in. And then this is my pink cord here. My pink cord here. Um, is an Apple cord that goes from one place on the adapter. Oops. <laughs> one of the holes in the adapter that's not the HDMI. And it's going to go into the projector in the USB port. And they are um, labeled to a certain degree. There's the, the USB port is right next to the DC power cord. So I'm just gonna put that in there. If I can do that almost one-handed. Whoops. <laughs> okay, it's gonna go right in there. Good, okay. But, and this is where it kept tripping me up last time. That's not the only thing it needs. That cord, yes, is running from my phone to the adapter, yay but I was getting nothing. It would stay on this screen forever. I want it to display what is showing on my phone screen. I don't want it to just stay right there. So I had to take a little trip up to Best Buy and get a HDMI to, not Best Buy, Office Depot, I think. Get an HDMI to HDMI cord. Uh, both male, HDMI, high-speed HDMI cable, six feet. Okay, that's cool. You know, one of the issues that I have with this little mini projector, I think I mentioned before, is that its DC cable is very short. That's uh, charmingly not very helpful. Okay, but I'm going to take my black HDMI cord that I bought at Office Depot this afternoon, and I'm going to plug it into the... HDMI hole here on the projector. There we go. Sorry about 
like that. And of course, the other end of it is plugged into my little white adapter, which you cannot see because the cord is too short to be able to show it to you. But now, notice the screen is not flashing anymore the way it was yesterday. Now I'm going to take my remote and I'm going to scooch it over to the HDMI icon. I can see this. It has one for photos that needs a USB port. Music needs a USB port. Movies needs a USB port. I'm going with HDMI. And then I'm going to press OK. And when I do that, aha, I get what's on my phone screen, which is a picture of me <laughs> doing this right now. Oh, there's my cat. Okay, so <laughs> it's working, I'm very pleased to say. I was able to pull up everything on my phone, even a couple of apps so that I can demonstrate it at work how a specific app on my phone works, and that will be great. So that's it for my ViewSonic uh, M-Series mini projector, cute as it can be. Not hard to set up actually once you know everything that is needed, but the directions are not clear. There's nothing written out, it's all in diagram, and the diagrams are not always clear what's what. For example, it never said you needed an HDMI to HDMI cable cord, but you do. Um, I just went and got that out of desperation, and it happened to work. But anyway, that's the review for that product. Once you know everything you need, it will work. Um, and it is, it was able to be set up even by me, and I am no tech genius, that's for sure. Stay tuned for my next video on another product I wanna review.